Yo, what's up guys? So today a new update came out, well, a variety of updates came out, but uh, I think the main one uh, is that the special attack feature was sort of updated. Uh, that being that it actually changes color now when you don't have enough special attack for the weapon you're wielding. So I'll show you guys also, I think the text was updated either. I, it, it's the same, but for some reason I think it's different, but I think the text was updated just a slight bit. But basically I'm up here in Piscatoris. And I'm just going to spec one of these skeletons really quickly because that's the only thing up here you can attack. And uh, so let's say I go attack this mage. So there you go. I attacked it. It's going to run out. So I have to do it. Close door. Uh, no, close it. Fuck. Okay. I guess I can't close it, JK. Can it attack me from in there? I'm about to say, dude. That sucks. I'll just wait a little bit. Who knows if I'll speed it up or not. Do, do, do. Do. Oh, there we go. All right, so the bar is blue when you do not have enough special attack power, basically, to special attack. Uh, so you won't have a green option anymore. So you know you can special attack when this bar turns green. Now, for the Sarah Sword, it's obviously going to be 100%, so I'm going to have to wait a long time uh, for this to turn green. But it's going to be basically blue for the Sarah Sword until I get to 100%. But for things like the Dragon Dagger, where it only has a 25% spec ratio or percentage, uh, then it's going to turn green. In this case, it would turn green in the next uh, 10%, but in my case, the Sarasaur only stays green. So, that's pretty interesting. Uh, let me know what you guys think of it below. But yeah, so that's the update on that. That's pretty interesting. Uh, I was like, the login server wasn't responding. I'm like, what the hell's happening? And then I realized there's an update. And I went to the old school page, and uh, this happened. And then there's some other small updates. Uh, I think there's a couple of trees added in the wilderness to where the black sal salamanders are. So it's, and also the, they added a, uh, like five per or five XP to when you catch a salamander or something like that, uh, up in the wildy. So that's pretty cool. And then what else they do? Apparently they they made they made it so that every time you loot a gem from a gem stall, it does not, um, give you 16 XP. It gives you 160 XP. And then I believe some other things as well. So yeah, anyways, at the moment, what I've been doing the past three days is just fishing. I have <laughs> I was 62, and now I'm 72, so I've gone up 10 levels in three days. Just AFKing Monkfish, and I haven't been doing it really, really consistently. Probably like five, four or five hours a day, just fishing Monkfish. And I've gotten, in that time, uh, 4,200 Monkfish, so that's pretty cool, and... What I'll do is I'll just cook these right after I've hit 76, which is my goal, 76 fishing, just for sharks. Not to necessarily fish them, just to have the fishing level for them. And yeah, and then I'll probably just cook all the monkfish and then finish cooking off uh, the rest of my swordfish and lobbies, which I have in my bank. So I have it, and I have some sharks too. But that should get me probably like 85. We'll see. I still want to go for 99. That's probably my goal, my next 99 goal. And then we'll see what happens to there. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching the video. Leave a like below. Let me know what you guys want to think of this. It's nice and blue. I'm not used to that color being there. And uh, yeah, I will see you for the next video. Peace out.